Hello! Today we're going to use Canva to make a calendar. Log into your Canva account and hit the templates arrow up here and then you'll see this page. We're going to make a calendar and I don't have any of this planned out. I like to do these just live on the fly because then it's more realistic like what you're going to be experiencing rather than me having everything planned out minute by minute, the designs already. I want this to be real so you can see just how much work or how little work goes into creating a calendar on Canva that you can then use for personal use or you can sell it on Etsy over and over again as a digital item. So just look through the Canva templates and find something that resonates with you. This one's cute, would be nice for a girl's room, like maybe a tween's, uh, maybe a tween's room. This is nice for back to school. Um, let's see, what are we looking at? I wanna create one that is more, See, like this I like the I like the stock photos that I can load in there this one has a place for notes which is nice ah, this is a tough decision you guys I'm gonna go with it click use this template and now you have every month over here on the left so how are we going to change this and make it our own? First, we're going to pick different colors. Gray is not my favorite, but I don't know which color to pick because I haven't picked my images yet. So let's go over to photos and do landscape. Ooh, I'm excited. Look at that. It's so pretty. You may have to adjust the pictures a little bit, obviously, but it's fairly simple and easy to do. You can use stock photos and then kind of match them to the months. So for January, for example, you would do something snowy. And uh, for June, it would be more summery, uh, but not everyone has the same weather everywhere, right? So I'm just picking pictures that I like. And then I'm going to put this in my uh, Smiley's gift shop, which is more of a religious Christian gift shop for the most part. So what I think I'm going to do is just go back through and maybe add a Bible verse to the top of any of these. If you're making a calendar, you need to have a person in mind. Who are you making it for, right? So if you're making it for moms, maybe you'll have a tip for organizing in each one of the little notes sections. Try to stick with a semi-cohesive theme at least. Like sunsets or sunrises or landscape. You could do like mountains. You could do hot air balloons, just literally the sky is the limit. You can do whatever it is that pops into your head. That's the beauty of it. And other people are going to appreciate it and think it's wonderful because it didn't come from their head, it came from yours. So now that we have all of our pictures, do I want to add a Bible verse over the picture or over here? Hmm. Instead of a section for notes, it's just going to be a Bible verse. All right, so those are removed. We're going to add our inspirational verse, Bible verse, whatever you want to put over here. Uh, pick a font that matches your idea, your theme. Pick a font that is going to resonate with your audience. So if I'm doing a calendar with Bible verses on it, based on the knowledge 
I have, it's usually middle-aged women who are going to download these. So we can take that and say, okay, what kind of font should we use? Needs to be easy to read, not too silly or playful. I'm gonna have the, the Bible verse in a heading and then I'm gonna actually type the Bible verse below it. If you're doing something like Bible verses and you don't have any memorized or you just can't think of any or you're wanting to go with a certain theme, you can always Google Bible verses. So let's see, inspirational Bible verses for women. And this will give you a lot to choose from. Calendars can actually be used digitally or they can be printed. So in your listing, you may want to show an example of how you use a calendar digitally. Use it as your desktop background and maybe add some little designs to it so people can get some ideas, maybe some stickers or something. And then also do a mock-up of what it could look like whenever it's printed because some people want it printed and bound and all of that. So make sure you're covering both of those in your mock-up to increase your sales. If for some reason you want to change the spacing on your font, it's the same button that we use for the spacing up and down. If you separate a script font too much, it's really ugly. And if you put it together too much, then nobody can read it. So if you are not in love with how far apart each letter is, make sure you adjust it while you're working on your calendar rather than waiting until the end and having to adjust every single one of them. All right, so that part is done. Let's change the font to color to black. Now, if you want to change this globally across your entire document, everything that is white text will change to black if you click this button, which is what I'm going to do because I want everything to look the same. And then all of the dark gray is going to become white. And the light gray, let's see if it looks good white. There's not really a separation when we do that. I think I'm gonna leave the light gray. I don't hate it. After you load all of your quotes or Bible verses or sayings, whatever, you're going to go through and make sure everything looks good before saving your file and uploading it to Etsy. So this is what the calendar looks like. Go through one last time, make any changes, make sure everything's kind of lined up okay. But this is perfect to use as a desktop background, perfect to print out. 
I like to go through and make sure that I didn't accidentally repeat the verse from month to month because I duplicate everything as you saw. All right, I am super happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on Etsy. Good luck creating your calendars. Uh, let me know what you come up with.